<sighs> All right. That's okay. I, I'm, I'm, you know what? Let's use a combination of Payday and then like maybe change Pokemon. Oh, and Meowth! If the Meowth uses Payday too, can we have just coins showering down on Nugget Bridge? This is such a beautiful background too. I really love this. I can't wait to get a Meowth. We should check and see where Meowth can be found. If I can even get a Meowth. Oh, that was pretty good. Good job, Jewel. Oh boy. Okay, maybe I, okay. Let's switch. Let's actually, no, 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 I wanna switch Pokemon. Who should go out now? Chickenberry? I mean, I think, you know what? I think Kaching is done with this nonsense. Kaching is like, I wanna get to the other side of the bridge now. <laughs> and we did throw down a bunch of coins. Look at you, you glorious creature. Yeah, that's not- I'm sorry, Meowth. I know you thought you were just finding a Pikachu, but things have kind of escalated a little. Kaching is done with this. <laughs> she wants to be on the other side of the bridge now. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, lass. Alright, so we got 65. You know what? That is worth it. You get like a fourth of the money that you normally would get. Can I- <sighs> I think we almost made it, guys. Number five! <gasps> I think I see a char- a charmander! I think I see a charmander! You guys! We've gotta get to the other side of this bridge! There's a charmander afoot! Oh, and a growlithe! Oh, they're so beautiful! Come on, Jewel! We need to go search for charmanders and growlithe! Uh, okay, Jewel, don't faint! Don't faint! Don't faint! Use payday! Don't faint! She is like a little detective, like trying to shake them down for their wallet, which isn't what real detectives do, but still. No, Jewel, don't faint, don't faint. Oh no. No, Jewel. Fooey. All right, now Kaching has really had enough of all this nonsense. Come on, Kaching. We're gonna finish this now. Boom. Look at that. All right, and let's wrap this up. I wonder, this is kind of interesting if we use Scald on a fire type Pokemon. Well, he kind of didn't have a chance. <laughs> Sorry, little buddy. <laughs> Kaching was was done with all of this. Did we get... There we go, 65 more and two great balls. Not bad. Phew, all right guys, we made it to the other side. We're waiting. Oh, please tell me we're done. Congratulations, you beat our five trainers. You just earned a nugget from the mystery trainer. Cool. By the way, kid, how would you like to join Team Rocket? Oh my gosh, everybody like beat him up. We got beat up by all of these people. And then this guy's like, hey, we beat you up, but you beat our trainers. You have some gold, join our team. That's right. We're a group dedicated to doing evil using Pokemon. <gasps> We've been hoodwinked. Want to join? Are you sure? Come, join us. I'm telling you to join. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, you need convincing. Oh no, with Pikachu fainted in our arms, we have run into Team Rocket. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. We've been hoodwinked, we've been hoodwinked. All this time we thought we were participating in some sort of contest and instead first he tries bribing us with money and next he tries beating us up. This is not gonna stand for, like we're not gonna stand for this Eevee, come on. We're gonna show him what for. Uh, I wonder if Buzzy Buzz works on Zubats. I'm not sure. Holy cow! Hey, buddy, do you want to reconsider your position? Because I think that I'd be a little nervous right now if I were you. I don't think Eevee is going to be very happy because he has found out that his friend Jewel just got beat up by Team Rocket yet again. We have now solidified his revenge story against the Rockets. Yeah, he's not... <laughs> He's so mad! I love it! Oh, and if you're not here for the roleplay, guys, I don't know why you're here. There we go. We beat up that Team Rocket grunt. Too bad we weren't able to use Payday so we could, like, shake him down for all his money, too. I don't feel bad for shaking any of these people down in our for their money anymore. With your skills, you would be a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity. You shouldn't let a chance like this pass you by. Whoa, and he's gone. All right, guys, we've got to take Jewel over to the Poké Center. I know that, that we were just there a little bit ago, but I forgot to buy more potions. I don't want this dirty nugget in my pocket anyway. That guy, he beat up Jewel for that. 
We couldn't even, I mean, what kind of, that's just, I'm, I'm, I'm so upset. I'm stumbling over my words. Because seriously, you can't just block a common path like that, not let anybody, da like, pass, and then knock their Pokemon out. Not cool. Alright, Jewel, there you go. Also, I kind of want to reconfigure our party a little bit. I adore Bellsprout. I absolutely adore plant-type Pokemon. But I am a little interested to see... Well, let's see. Let's open our, our Pokemon uh, box. I have to remember how to do that. There we go. There we go. Let's look at... This is all the Pokemon we have, for the record. <laughs> because if I uh, can remind you guys, all the Pokemon we gave to Professor Oak we'll never see again. Which does make my heart weep a little bit. Um, but I kind of feel like maybe Clefairy wants to come out and play with us. Maybe Paris? Um... You know what? I guess Bellsprout would be the best one to have out still. But I, I sort of feel like the Clefairies are a little curious about what's going on. So let's get our female Clefairy. We're going to add her to the party. And we're going to let Bellsprout kind of chill for a minute. And Mew... I don't think Mew really wants to fight. I think Mew just likes to adventure. So, I think I'm going to level Mew almost exclusively through Pokeball training. I'm going to put Mew in the Pokeball and start carrying it around with me more during the day while I'm doing my work in the house and going on walks and things. And I think we're not, like, I think Mew just isn't a fighter, personally. Mew's more like a companion who has come from outer space or something like that. And I know that that's not actually where Mew's from, by the way. And doesn't really like battling. So let's get our cranky Metapod back in the party. Our cranky, ultra tiny Metapod that we took in because it was half the size of all the others. Back into the party. And while we're here, let's go sell this nugget and get a bunch of Pokeballs. Because <laughs> I don't want I don't want Team Rockets like dirty money. They get oh <laughs> Jewel, are you having fun with the fountain again? Jewel seems very interested in the fountain. She's so cute. <laughs> oh, looks like it was splashed by some water. Jewel looks pleased. Oh, that's so cute. All right, so let's see. Where was the shop again? Right over here. We can't go down the other path until we get cut, uh, which actually we're going to need our bell sprout for. And let's go ahead and sell this no good, we don't want anything to do with, with it whatsoever nugget. Where'd it go? Here, take Team Rocket's oh, 10,000 Pokebox. <laughs> yes, that is more than adequate. Trust me. Uh, also, these heart scales. Oh, they don't sell for as much as I thought I they would. Let's keep the first one that we got from Kaching. But Kaching did get us some heart scales that we can go ahead and sell as well. Now let's go ahead and buy uh, some great balls. Just in case we run into something that we really, really, really want. There we go. And then let's go ahead and buy. This is such a cute Pokemart, by the way. How many do I have? 67. <laughs> we'll just get seven more. I think having 70 Pokeballs should be enough. If not, I should probably reconsider what I am doing with my life. Let's get five potions. And do we have any, like, Paralyze Heal? Uh, super Potion, Antidote for Poisons. I feel like Poisons are one of the worst things because I hate seeing the Pokemon like faint even as you're walking around. And Burn Heals. There we go. Because I saw a Charmander, so let's be ready with the Burn Heals. Alright, we're good. There we go. Thank you, sir. Very nice. Very nice to hang out with you again. I adore their little shop. It's so cute. And let's go see what that Charmander is up to. Now that we have taken out Team Rocket... And we now have the perfect revenge motivation from our Eevee and our Pikachu in order to, like, get rid of that nasty team. Eevee was furious, knocked those Team Rocket Pokemon out with one jolt each, because how could they knock out his good friend Jewel, the Pikachu? Alright, let's see what's going on over here with this Charmander, please! Oh my gosh, sir! Jewel, what do you think? Jewel nimbly hopped into the air. She's excited, I think. I'm not good at raising Pokemon. I feel sorry for my Charmander because it's not getting stronger. So I want to give it a better tra give it to a better trainer than me. Are you interested? What? I've 
caught 50 Pokemon. You should catch more than that. Oh my gosh. If we catch more than 50 Pokemon, he's just going to give us this Charmander? Hi, little guy. I guess, you know, if he knows in his heart he is not that interested, that's a good thing um, to just admit. Where's the Pokemon? Let's see. <gasps> There's a Venonat! And a Pokeball. Good job, Jewel. With raspberries. Can we catch the Venonat? This is... How, how have I not caught 50 Pokemon? I got completely surrounded in Mount Moon. Come on, Venonat! Oh, this is so exciting! Our very first encounter with a wild Venonat. Uh, we are not using our Great Balls. Thank you very much. Alright, let's see if I can actually get ready. Ooh! And... What is happening? That is not the direction I was facing. Sorry guys, we're doing the thing where my switch is totally convinced I'm not sitting in the right place, and I totally am. Okay, we're gonna see if we can... Oh my gosh, okay! We might have to actually work on... We might have to wait and work on Siri literally jumping around her office trying to make this work. I will configure my switch before we do this again, my friends. Because this is painful. Wait, 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 now, no! Now you're in the place I was just pointing! Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm so sorry. Um, this is the last throw I'll do. What is happening? Maybe it... Maybe it relies on the get ready from when I hit it. Okay, I'll figure this out. I will drag chips in here to help me. But we got the Venom Hat! I am flushing so hard. I promise I, I can throw better than that. Yay, new Pokemon! My unusual technique got us some experience too. Whoops. Oh my goodness. All right, let's check out this bug poison type that's like almost as tall as me. Well, you know, I'm five foot five, but still it's like three feet tall. It is a very tall one, but it's a little underweight. So I wonder if it really needed those raspberries we found. Its large eyes act as a radar. In bright places, you can see that they are clusters of many tiny eyes. So it's basically got a million eyeballs, which as you guys may know, eyeballs kind of creep me out. Which is a very weird thing. <gasps> a tiny Meowth! Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, my very first wild Meowth. Please, I want you in my life. Come here, little one. <gasps> that was a great throw. Come on, come on. Do you want a berry? Here, I'll give you a berry. Let me give you a berry. Oh my gosh, it's a little girl Meowth. It's our very first little girl Meowth. Here, have a raspberry. She's so small, guys. There we go! Get ready, and... Come on! I need the little circle to be smaller. I think that finally my Pokeballs know where I'm sitting. <gasps> we got a Meowth! Yes! I am so happy right now! A little girl Meowth and our Cranky Metapod just grew up to level 10. It's even closer to being a Cranky Butterfree. Let's check... Oh my gosh! Our Cranky Metapod! <laughs> Cranky, you're growing up! <laughs> there you go! Look at this! Our very first evolution caught on camera! <gasps> it's beautiful. Look at that. And now we have... And actually, its eyes look just like Vendetta eyes, so I'm sure they're related through some family tree. But now we have ourselves a Cranky Butterfree. Butterfree's data has been added. It is still very small. It is almost half the size that it should be. Its wings, covered with a poisonous powder, repel water. This allows it to fly in the rain. That's amazing. What should we name her? I kind of feel like giving her a name after maybe like a poisonous plant, uh, but we should rename our Butterfree now. There you go, little one. And she's learned Gust, so she's starting to feel a lot stronger. She's finally come out of that little shell. And we have a Meowth, who is just a teensy bit lighter and just an inch shorter than normal, so she's pretty normal sized for a Meowth. Appears to be more active at night. It loves round and shiny things. It can't stop itself from picking them up. So maybe this will be the perfect companion to our Pikachu and our Eevee, as our Meowth, too, will enjoy Payday. Uh, let's see if this little Meowth actually knows Payday. Let's see. Come here, little one. Where are ya? Let's get a good look at you. You're adorable. Let's add her into the party right now, actually. 
we'll go ahead and let our cranky Butterfree kind of mutter to herself for a little while. And let's check the summary. So what do you know, my dear? What do you know? She knows Payday! Okay, so she knows Bite, Fake Out, Taunt, and Payday. So she's quite the sassy little one, but she's actually bashful and highly persistent. So she is quite shy, but she will really, she'll she'll kind of be stubborn and stick to something. But all right, guys, so there we go. We have now expanded our party. We have very miserably reminded myself I need to sync my switch before I start tossing Pokeballs. <gasps> and we see another Meowth! I want it so bad! This is so cute! Oh my gosh, we have finally started running into wild Meowths. Oh, he jumped! Wait for it. Oh, oh, dig it! Okay. He's definitely trying to get away from me. But alright, yes! We might start stacking up on Meowth, so I hope you guys will consider subscribing to join us on that journey. And if you would like, leave a like to pet the Meowth a little bit, to let our little boy Meowth, who we just caught and got more experience than we did when we were fighting in the gym, let him know what he thinks. Leave some comments with names that we could possibly give to our- Oh, maybe if we do a Meowth combo, we could get a shiny Meowth. <gasps> that would be amazing. Leave a comment with some names for our cranky Butterfree. I love the idea of some poison plant names for our lovely girl. She's still smaller than the usual Butterfree too. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. So there you go, Meowth. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.